basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an ex Well, obviously, Greg, this game doesn't count in the standings, but how important is it for newcomers to these squads to make their mark? Kevin, it's vital. I mean, whether you're a rookie or a vet, you want to make a great first impression. And for the coaches, your teammates, and the fans. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. And it's Lillard in at the point. Every night there's something that Giannis does on the floor where you just have to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. And the rejection by Embiid. Here's Lillard, and Lillard throws it down. with it the dish to Embiid Lopez with the steal and Giannis out of the Kumbo throws it down hard oh I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest wouldn't that be sweet nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam and they're great at both ends, but the Sixers offense, Greg, the Sixers offense is elite. And it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line. And his teammates reap the benefits as well with wide open shots on the perimeter. Now, O'Connorson. James Harden missing on the three. Just five on the clock. Lillard from outside. And then Lillard slams it in. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Harden against Lillard. And they get it. There's MB. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's on Damian Lillard. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucks. I like how they work the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Harden against Lillard. Kicks it out to Maxi. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Great positioning on the putback. And talk about effort. Embiid staying with them. The Bucs have gone 5 of 7 today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Lillard with it. Maxi covering. Tries the spin move. Lillard surveying the D. Pass to Connaughton. Over Maxi. Some solid defense for Maxi. And a nice job of utilizing his body to get around the defender. But that's just a tough one to knock down consistently. And Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. Now oh, here's Young. And Embiid with the block. Harden outside. Here's Harris. That one misses. Some solid defense from Antetokounmpo. And Middleton gets to Lopez. And now a veteran in the NBA. You get the feeling every season is important to Dane Lopez. Yeah, but I get the feeling, Greg, that it's just not enough. These individual accolades and these high-scoring season. Dane Lillard wants to play in competitive basketball late into June. So it's going to be about championships for him moving forward. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Harden against Lillard. Shoots from 12. Off the left rim and up. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Spins. Going inside. Does not find the target. That makes him three for five. And a deep three from Harden. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Harden's got five. 
And as long as Hart is in the building, he has the confidence he can make it. Here's Anta Takumbo. He bounded by Tucker. 76ers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Yeah, and the defense has been on their back heels with the way they've been running the ball up the floor. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks, getting their first look, a preseason look at the 76ers here. Yeah, a good matchup. These are two teams that played each other to a draw in the regular season last year. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Philadelphia has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Now, here's Maxi. Tucker. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Onto Takumbo looking it over. Drives to the hoop. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. You got to give them an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. Well, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road, but no team ever happy with a loss. Put up a good fight. They had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. Now here's Lillard. He's got 10. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Hey, Brent, the foundation of the Bucks' success has been their defense. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. They continue to dominate in the paint, but they've also made tremendous strides in how they guard the three-point line, just doing a much better job of getting out there and contesting the three. Bamba is checked in for Philadelphia. And Embiid throws it down. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. Now, here's Lillard. He's got 12. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Embiid. Maxi with it. Now guarded by Anadokounmpo. And again, Philadelphia turns it over. Well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Some changes for Philadelphia. Kelly Oubre comes in for Harris. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Maxi. Now here's Lillard. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Connaughton passes to Middleton. Giannis inside. He's against Bob. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. I love it when Giannis is in attack mode like that and gets to the rim so quick. And that one is good. Seven points for James Harden. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Nobody near Lillard. No good from outside. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Bucs. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. Preseason in the NBA, and it's great to have you with us. And for the Bucs, guys, what jumps out to you stats-wise? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable. It was crippling defense. Oubre out there with Bamba. And there's Embiid. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Harden in at the point. That's the group for Philadelphia to start the second quarter. Hansa Takumbo dishes to Lopez. Lillard from outside. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Stolen by Bamba. Pushing it up. Here's Embiid. It's good. This game is all even. Embiid's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the 76ers. The wide open look here for Lopez. A three-pointer no good. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide-open look from three-point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. And what a burst from Damian Lillard at that time, just seeing that gap and getting ahead of the defense. There's three pointers off the mark. 
The Bucs won their last contest that game against the Bulls. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, Kevin. As ever, Joel Embiid has the pressure on him to be the franchise player. He said it's not an easy job. If it was easy, everybody would do that. When you're actually the best offensive player and the best defensive player, you got to make plays. You can't be perfect. All I can do is try to do my best every game. Kevin? Well said. His best DA is pretty great, isn't it? Thank you so much for the report. Good handles from the six foot eight inch Chris Middleton. That's some versatility there with that size. Alert against Harden. Like there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainly on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that. Oh, yes, sir. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Here's Harden. Good work there as it goes. Harden's got nine. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Lillard outside. Passes it to Connaughton. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Connaughton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. No good that time. Nice D from Lillard. Oubre on the wing. And it's off from three-point range. Bucks leading by seven. Launches a three. And it's Lillard missing. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And what a stretch has been, Brent, for this Milwaukee franchise. All started by the drafting of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, just identifying him is one thing, Kevin. you got to also acknowledge the work that Giannis has put in. After that, they have done a great job of building around him. Had that not been the case in Milwaukee, you have to wonder whether he would have re-upped and signed that extension with the Bucks to continue his career here. What would have happened in free agency? How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. Hey, Brent, here we're looking at Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's arguably the best player right now in the NBA. Not, not just the NBA, worldwide. That's a lot of space, Kevin, but you're not wrong. He is the best two-way player in the league. With his physical dominance, he impacts the game in ways that no other player can. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second. Person. And a lot of speculation, GA, of what would happen with Harden. As of now, he remains a sixer. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a new landing place for him. Many thought the Clippers would go after Harden. But for the time being, he's going for another round with Philly. And that one's good, Lillard. Simply one of the best guards of this generation. Lillard lighting it up here. And B, the pass to Ubro. And now, here comes Antetokounmpo, leading the break. Count it. Lillard's got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. You can't lose Harden there. He slipped inside there and made them pay. Lillard against Harden. Lillard on top. 20 points for him. Lopez dishes to Lillard. And now the 76ers on the break. The pass to Embiid. Embiid off the bounce. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Now just a five-point Milwaukee lead. Three-pointer Lillard. Connington kicks to Lillard. And there's the drive. Missed inside. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. 
Harden the pass to Beverly. Plays it up off the glass. Beverly showing a bit of his speed right there, out of the blocks, hoping to get something on the drive on the inside. Lillard attacking, and then Lillard slams it in. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. It's good on the putback. Now it's a seven-point Bucks lead. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Harden gets to Beverly. It's Harden with the drive and the rejection by Giannis. And here we go. Four seconds left. Middleton finds Lillard. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Hey everybody, halftime is upon us, and the scoreboard showing a deficit. Hey, I was wondering, after the show, you guys doing anything? Well, that depends. Well, I got three free tickets to Golf and Grill. Includes the go-kart. Moving on, in that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the Bucks. Very comfortable at the offensive end. Nice, easy flow. And they look like they're enjoying themselves out there, Shaq. And that'll do it for half. And welcome back as our coverage continues of the NBA preseason. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, will see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. And the dunk by Embiid. Well, he's been carrying them all night on offense, but at some point, he's going to need some help. And, Greg, while the Sixers have been a fact time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinal. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years, but you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals. Back at 0 one Three-pointer, Lillard, and it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Well, it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them. Great awareness on that play. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Beverly against Lillard. The shot will not fall. Good D by Embiid. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Harden against Lillard. Harden gets to Embiid. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Embiid's got 18 points in the game. Oh, great find there from Harden. He's just so good at finding his teammates in rhythm. And stolen by Harrell. Harden with it. Lillard picks him up. That evens the score. 15 points in the game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Lillard against Beverly. Poked away and stolen by Harrell. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. Hey, 
And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. And another turnover for the Bucks. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And dropping the sledgehammer there. He curves a 10-0 run by the six. And Beverly kicks to Harden. Pass to Embiid. Alert against Harden. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And Harden wide open. He shoots. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Harden's got 19 points. Lillard with it. Now defended by Oubre. Middleton against Beverly. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Lopez finds touches Kumbo. Six to shoot. Lillard outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Montrez here. And I'm telling you what, on the other end, you're just waiting for when it's going to happen. Lillard is going to come at you. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. The 76ers have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts. And... What a feed to Embiid! Wow! Hard to imagine a much better target on the alley-oop than Embiid. Get the lob anywhere in his vicinity, and you might wind up on a highlight reel. Just a terrific all-around scoring effort from him. I mean, it's because of that that they're even in this game. Beverly, the pass to Uber. Here he goes, and the shot is good. Oubre's got the lead back up to two now for the 76ers. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's Lillard. James Harden with the rebound. Yeah, you, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. All right, a moment to check out stats for MB. Last season, he played outstanding. Last year, checking in at about 33 points a game. 10 rebounds and 4 assists. And he does a great job of just attacking the glass. Really determined to track it down. Anticipation when it comes to rebounding, that can separate elite ones from average ones. Grant, don't you love what a team player Giannis is? A star with very little ego. One of the things, Greg, he does so well is deflect everything or reflect everything back to him. It's about him. He'll compliment his teammates, and then he'll take on the responsibility when the team isn't playing at its highest level. So after making the first, he goes one for two. There's no doubt that the way that Montrez Harrell approaches the game is the heartbeat of a lot of the minutes that he's on the floor for any club. And sometimes as a point guard, you got to take things into your own head. Yeah, right. It's okay to be... Selfish when you have a... Yep, we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original person. The previous play is under review. A lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get it. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. 
and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, great to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Number one is Joel Embiid, Damian Lillard third. And what an option either of those two guys give you. They're both excellent safety valves when an offense is struggling. Bucks trail by six. Here's Middleton. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got five assists tonight. Keep your eyes on the prize. Middleton did just that and sunk the shot despite getting roughed up a bit. Beverly dishes to Harrell. There's the try. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Harrell's got the lead up to six now for Philadelphia. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Giannis inside. He's defended by Hill. For three, Middleton. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Just three to shoot. Stolen by Beverly. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Lopez with the block. Yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Inside, Oubre. Kicks it out to Harden. It'll count. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. A big-time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Always a joy to get a sneak peek at the NBA season ahead as we get back to the action. We've got Joel Embiid. Contreras Harrell is out there with Kelly Oubre. Then it's Harden, and it's Beverly in at the two spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam team. And Lillard kicks to Middleton. Connaughton passes to Andacumbo. Kicks it down to Middleton. And the wide open shot from Connaughton. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Philadelphia leading by seven. Harden looking it over. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the Boston Celtics. And then on Monday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. Better than most centers from the line. Indeed, exceptional with his hand. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. And he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. There's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Over in the corner, Beverly. Another miss by Philadelphia. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Middleton against Harrell. Shot clock at six. Lillard finds Giannis. Adetokounmpo using his size! 
Yeah, Lillard has a talent to move the ball. He's developed those sharp instincts. Harden outside. Harden draws the double. Oubre outside. Embiid inside. Lopez is there. In close, Embiid gets it to fall. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Lillard attacking, and he elevates for the slam dunk. Montrez Harrell did not like that. Another reminder. that Damian Lillard can be explosive and we love it. Here's Harden and the whistle blows and he's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Chris Middleton can guard multiple positions out there and his defensive effort solid on that play. It's tipped, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harrell. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Here's on to the oh, ball. The power. Oh, man. Man. That real. That's some flashy stuff from Attentacupo. They're dicing up the D with the ball control. And so Harden will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've led by as much as 10. Tries again. Lopez with the steal. Stolen by Harden. Beverly the pass to Harden. Lopez with the steal. And it's the Bucks on the break. And Embiid with the block. And they're able to recover. Giannis outside. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Stolen by Middleton. Fast break. Milwaukee. Giannis. Oh, what a move. Giannis. It's so exciting to see the growth of the Greek freak. There are shots that stars sink, and that's a momentum changer right there. He swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. I like their defense today. And we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. Like you can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And he converts the layup. Now it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. Dominating in effortless fashion. This is what Giannis does on a consistent basis. Not just here, not the first guy you think about, but he comes through first class. And Middleton kicks to out of Kumbo. Beverly. Yep, it counts. Beverly's got it all tied up now for the 76ers. Beverly excellent at getting a bucket when the team needs it. Stepping up that time. Here's Willard. And stolen by Harrell. Harden bounce pass. Here's Oubre. The rebound by the Bucks. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. Back to Antetokounmpo. Over Harrell. Antetokounmpo, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Six on the shot clock. And Bede gets to him. Money! Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, 
He kicks it up a notch. Lillard outside. In the corner, Middleton with it. Down low. The kick out to Lopez. Count it! You want to win? You need guys like Rook Lopez. That's clutch. And B dishes to Oubre. Beverly against Connaughton. Here's Harden on the win. For the win. Oh, that shot in a chance, but no good. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, much appreciated, David. Another NBA preseason game is in the books. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.